glad I waited, but I was really hungry, and I scarfed it down. And it was one of those where I was so hungry that, and I ate it so fast that when I finished it, I thought I was still hungry. And I do that sometimes. I think I just eat too fast. And uh, doesn't give my body a time, a chance to actually take, you know, not even digest, but take in what it just, what I just ate. Just figure out, just, you know, re, re-compute, you know, whether or not I'm hungry. <laughs> So now that it's had time, you know, I don't, I don't feel hungry anymore. I ate early enough. I'm probably gonna have to eat again before I go to bed. But that's fine. Find something. There are restaurants in Tonopah. There's a, there's a Chinese restaurant. There's at least two Mexican restaurants. The brewery serves barbecue, um, and the mitzpah. Tonopah Station both have restaurants. The Tonopah Station restaurant is like a diner type place. Um, I'm trying to think if I am remembering the right place. I think I am. No. I remember. Wait. Yes, I am. Okay. I get confused with other casino hotels. I'm just, there's a few casino hotels on the uh, on Route 6. So... Been in, I've been in a few of them. Not about that mile marker. Um, you know, like I said, as far as I know, they've been they've, this is the past, definitely the past five years, they put these up. But that mile marker only says Route Six. Um, that's important because um, this is actually US Six and US Ninety Five together. Likely, what they're doing is probably what similar what they do in California. So California, on their mile markers and legally as well. In the legal definitions, they never carry they never carry two routes. Um, if there's routes joined together, like for instance, uh, near where near where I live, there's um, a, a, you know, in, a, a take for Monterey, for instance. Um, signs would have you believe Highway 68 gets on Highway 1 for a period um, around Monterey. Uh, that's actually not technically the case. 68 technically ends at Highway 1. Um, at when it exits, um, and they do that with the mile markers and how they figure out which one gets it. First, it's type of highway, like interstate takes precedence over state highway, you know, U.S. highway, U.S. highway takes precedence over state highway. Um, but when you get into state highway or interstate or anything like that, it um, the higher, I'm sorry, the lower number takes over. So that's why Highway One continues, but Let's see if there's another one right there. Highway 1 continues with 68 cut. In this case, and this is maybe the way Nevada does it, um, 6, six is, is the main route because it's the lower number. You know, it doesn't get any lower than 6. Well, not much lower than 6. Um, doesn't get any lower than 6 out here at least. So the way California does it was actually part of the, uh, I was all part of the 1964 way numbering system. Um, the, the same one that removed Route 6 from most of California, uh, the trunking Bishop. Um, prior to that, Route 6 and 395 um, followed each other. And you may think, well, what about, why didn't they just truncate 395? Well, 395 continues south of um, U.S. 6, and um, originally all the way to San Diego, but Route 6 
was mostly supplanted by interstates. Um, it continues, now it's Highway 14. Um, Highway 14 isn't really that long. It only goes from, you know, from the 395 split down to Santa Clarita. Um, and I, you know, for, for a California State Highway, that's a pretty good distance uh, overall, but it's not that far. So they just, you know, and it wasn't adding to the, to the U.S. route system once they got rid of, you know, also got rid of 99 and 60 and 66 and all the other ones. So, you know, eliminating six from that area made more sense, from that route, made more sense than eliminating 99, or uh, 395. So 395 remains. I'm not quite as tired as I thought I would be. I've been driving about eight hours now. I started at about... Ugh, I left later than I, I was hoping. I think I went to Salinas, got some tacos, and left Salinas probably about 10.40. Um, and then made a, made a couple stops. I uh, stopped in... Um, I meant to stop in the Central Valley for gas. I didn't do that. Um, I ended up stopping in Sonora for gas. Um, and to pee. I had to pee really bad by that point. Um, I stopped in Santa Nella. Sorry. Stopped in Santa Nella to negotiate a route. So it's it's funny when I when you go from where I live to Yosemite or even Sequoia. Sequoia is not as bad. Yosemite especially. Um, you inevitably. And I guess there's, there, uh, no, I shouldn't say inevitably, because there are ways to do it on state highways. It's just more efficient to do it on state highways and side roads. Uh, there's not roads, there's no, a lot, not a lot of roads that go there directly. You kind of have to wind around on country roads. And I actually prefer to wind around on these little, you know, farm service roads, these country roads off the back. Like this time I, I figured out a route I could avoid um, all the cities. I could, I avoided... Los Banos, um, I avoided um, Merced, I avoided Turlock, Modesto, um, even Oakdale, um, and you know, it's, you know, sometimes you want to go through those towns, and you know, we're thinking about it now, I should have gotten gas in one, at least one of those towns, I probably should have gone through Merced, like I was originally planning, and just gotten gas. Um, but you can wind around on these little roads and avoid these towns. It's interesting. They kind of make their own bypasses. And a lot of people know about these bypasses. They use them. Um, just like uh, just like a bypass. Uh, you know, that, that wasn't their intention. Really. The intention of the road was to serve a... Uh, yeah, I should re-engage my crews. Um, was to serve farms. You know, so... I don't know. It was a nice drive, though. It was, uh, you know, sometimes I go on those roads, and, you know, like I said, they end up being the bypass road. And so there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of stop signs and traffic lights and stuff like that. That wasn't the case on most of the most of the route. You know, I ended up going a pretty weird way. I went through a neighborhood outside Merced. Um, went by big dairy, went by some marshland, kind of the edge of the farmland where the roads kind of stopped on you know, the Merced National Wild, Wildlife Refuge. Fun stuff, man. It was, uh, it was a nice drive. So I'm looking, oops, looking off to my left, there's this big tower. I'm trying to figure out what it is. That might be part of the solar farm. Yeah, I think that might be. That's the thing. It looks, it looks very alien. I've seen it um, um, a few, couple of years ago. I can't, I can't remember if it was two years or two years or three years ago. Um, driving, driving back, there was a fire, 
the Sierras and the wind was actually the 